when I went to the Summit Salon in Minneapolis, I went there with um, just trying to find out what the buzzword was, what everybody was talking about, and obviously, as you know, um, how many of you have been in the business, I guess, uh, or have had your businesses for 10 or more years? So you've probably heard about this for 10 or less. Have you had your, the rest of you have had your businesses for just maybe a little newer, five years? Okay. So basically when I went, um, I had been across the country and out of the country for 18 years looking for a system, looking for a plan, um, obviously to bring home, like we all do, we try to make our systems better, whether it's learning new haircutting techniques or color or management systems, and you go back and you put a little bit into place and you continue on, and then you go and get a little bit more and you try to put a little bit more together, and you all are obviously leaders or else you would be in this position, so you can do that pretty well. And you can best supporters and best cheerleaders, but sometimes when you're trying to put those plans into place, if you don't have that support behind you, it makes it a little harder to move forward. So when I went to um, the summit in 2003, I knew that I had heard that it was a business plan and that there was a lot of support to it, so that was pretty exciting for me. And the first day, I thought, wow, this is brilliant. Why didn't I think of this? You know, you're just, <laughs> really, some of it is so simple, don't you think that? And uh, by the second day, I was even more excited. Uh, but by the third day, I have to tell you, I was a little depressed. And that's only because I had a salon for 18 years, and I knew what was going to happen when I went home. I knew what things looked like. I'm just trying to be completely honest with you. I was afraid. Um, I felt like, oh my gosh, i got to go back and change the box. And I've done that in 18 years, twice before, because I'm from the day where you know, everybody was making 55, 60 and all the salons were going under. Luckily, I pulled mine by the reins and pulled them back out and did it in the nick of time. Uh, I got myself out of that position. But basically, um, I know what that felt like and I knew what I was going to face when I came home. So I did spend a whole day of trying to figure out, oh my gosh, this is just going to be so hard to do. But I had with me my daughter, Heather Bagby, who had been uh, graduated from college, had been in the corporate world for a while, and she had a completely different kind of um, on what she was seeing, what was going on. So it was good. It was good. Me as a salon owner, as a hairdresser, uh, had worked closely to grow my business uh, for 18 years. Had grown my business to, you know, the size that you see now, maybe less about, you know, 100 or 1,000 square feet. But other than that, uh, we were able to get it to a level that we we talk about now is called flatline. I didn't feel like I could take it to that one more step. So by going to the summit and actually experiencing, hearing all of the pieces that you can implement into your salon to help them grow. I had to get over myself, let me just put it that way. And that was really hard to do because at that point in my life, I wanted to slow down, not speed up. I didn't want to face one more thing. But I did know that unless I did it, unless I made that change, that I was not going to grow the people that had worked side by side with me for all those years. Because I had a lot of people that were with me for that 18 years. As a matter of fact, today I have six stockholders um, that are with me, that some of them have been with me from 24 years to 17 years. So, yeah, so there was a good reason for me to go back and make this happen. It was probably one of the best, uh, what, what is one of the best moves that I ever made in my business uh, career. When I went back and I decided that I was going to put this into place, my business grew from 1.7 million to 2 million uh, the first year with the KR system at the time, and uh, I lost five people along the way. So that's the part of the story I just kind of want you to hear because there is pieces that you feel so worried about and you're so um, you know afraid of what you're going to do that's going to change the culture and the temperature of the salon. But within that first six months, when I came home, I did have a consultant. She did come uh, back with me within a few weeks of leaving the summit, and they were able to meet with my entire staff one-on-one. -on -one. So together as a team, we were able to take a look at their numbers, place them where they needed to be. And then I felt, okay, that feels good. At least I know where they're going. I know that you know my, my close friend, Terry, that's been with me for 18 years, I know she's okay, I know this person's okay, everybody's good. And then over the next six months, they came every month and we worked on each department because it was all new to me. You know, I definitely um, had just come out of behind the chair. I've been behind the chair for 27 years. So for those of you that have, are doing both right now or you're just doing one, I did um, behind the chair for three days a week and then two days a week I was in the office and then I completely came out of behind the chair again. 
this, this script actually was formed by the front desk um, staff. So in other words, we got together in like four different meetings and we broke down how we were going to start the tour and how we were going to end the tour. And each spot that we would stop at, everybody had to put in three thoughts and what they wanted to say about it. And then we all voted what were the best three thoughts. And that went under, say, the makeup area, the retail area, the hair area, the processing area, whatever that may be. So that when girls are out and they're talking about your salon and somebody says, oh, I got this fabulous tour, and the other one says, nobody gave me a tour, <laughs> then everybody's on the same page. Yeah, it's really nice. So um, one time, but this time I think we really got it down a little bit more, where we're doing it five minutes before the shift starts so that it's not where everybody has to come in, you know, 30 minutes early and have this meeting is just five minutes and uh, like Kathleen said and then they kind of get the paperwork done for the, the person that's in charge of the huddle so that they know exactly you know what we're promoting that day what's new what's exciting hey good morning glad to have you here whatever it may be but it's a nice time for everybody to come together and get ready for their shift and like I mentioned before we double shift so that happens at the 8:30 shift and then again at the 2:30 shift which goes on till 9 30 that night and then um, while I was at the school, I kind of wanted to get my foot in the door here. So I started up at the front desk here, and it was really good for me because up at the school and at the front desk here, we had the level system. So I kind of already got, you know, the whole feeling of all that, working with that. And um, also, working up at the front desk was really good for me too because, you know, when you're in school, it takes a couple hours to do a partial foil, you know what I mean? And then here I got to see, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to finish this in 30 minutes. And so I was able to like see the timing, bring it back to school, and then practice it, you know, so I could really be on top of the game, like when I started here. So then um, I graduated from school, went on, on into the associate's program with Valerie, and I finished that, we fast tracked me through that, and I got done with it in six months. And um, now I'm on the floor, I've been on the floor for exactly a year now, and so I'm working my way up to a level two. And so, um, do you guys have any questions or anything though that you can, that you can ask? <laughs>